Hey, welcome back to Guitar Discoveries. Today, I want to talk about your tube amp and how to just get extra life from it. Particularly if you have a vintage tube amp that doesn't have an overdrive circuit, I really want to talk about an amazing thing that you can do to push your tubes and get natural tube distortion with no pedals involved. The Bugera PS1. This is the lowest priced, high quality power soaker on the market. Um, I've tried a few and I'm really impressed with this one. For the price, uh, this is quite amazing. Now this seems to be an exact copy or replica of a different power soaker called a Jetenuator. We've all had the problem where we want to put our amp in the sweet spot. In order to do that, you've got to turn up the amp pretty substantially, sometimes to four, five, or even higher. That's where you push the tubes and you start to really get this nice, crunchy analog distortion from those tubes. The problem is, when you do that, the sound coming out of the speakers will rip your head off. That means you're going to have problems whether you're in the studio or on stage. It's going to be very, very loud. So having a power soaker can really solve that problem. What you're doing is you're taking the loud output, the, the full throttle output coming from the head of the amp, you're then putting it into the power soaker where you're gonna attenuate or turn down that signal, and then you're gonna plug the output from the power soaker directly to the speakers uh, in your amp. So basically what we're saying is, hot signal coming from the amp gets cooled down, brought down to the level where your speakers can be playing at a much lower volume. The tone comes from your tube is basically warming and being pushed to the limit. Let's listen to what that means for a second. <laughs> got this set flat. Tone controls are flat. And I'm flat on the guitar as well and I'm, I'm playing from both sets of pickups. So you're really getting this the natural amp tone coming through the power soaker. Now what I've done, I've got this volume up on four. Okay, the volume's on four here and I'm able to then use the soaker to bring down the overall volume. I brought it down to 20 here. So this is interesting. When you have it on a hundred, it's letting the most sound come through. Uh, it's not actually 100%. It already attenuates the amp by 50%, even at 100. So it can be a little misleading, a little counterintuitive. But you can kind of think of it as a volume control. If you want it to be quiet, quieter, you dial it down. Um, now, that's at four. What happens if I want to push it? Because I want to get even more crunch, right? But that's getting a little too loud for my ears. So I can dial this down over here. So let's hear what that difference is. You get the idea. I mean, let's just, for grins, let's push it up even higher. Let's go to six and a half or so and... how crunchy that actually is getting. It's really fun to be able to do this with no pedals. I'm literally going chord out of here, straight into the amp, right? And it's the amp then going through the attenuator to the speaker that allows me to be overdriving the tubes like that. This is truly natural analog overdrive, right? And the beautiful thing is this is only a hundred bucks. It's a hefty little unit. It's got a mic emulator built into it if you want to use that. It's got another line out with a volume control. So for recording, you know, you can do a direct line out. You can do an emulated mic out. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do with it. But the number one thing is being able to crank and get the tone you want, but at a lower volume. The original Power Soaker was created by Tom Scholz from the band Boston. He was actually an electrical engineer. And uh, he started with the power soak and he moved on and created the rock man and other things. There are many brands that go up in price all the way up to like Universal Audio has the OX. I think it's like 1200 or 1300 bucks. So you can go pretty far with these. And some of those include all kinds of emulators that you can go straight into your DAW and things like that. 
Um, but this one, for the price, I just don't think you can beat it. It's basically the same price or a lower price than most pedals. And it eliminates pedals if you think about this. Natural tube distortion. Let's compare that to um, going back to the amp itself. I'm going to have to turn this down substantially. I'm going to bring it down to three and I'm going to turn this up all the way so that we're at natural amp tone. Still a little too loud for my ears. So that's the sound of the amp in clean mode. You can tell how far I was able to push it with the Bugera in line. Let's do that again. I'm going to bring this up to six, tune this way down over here to 20. To think it's shredding out of the vibroverb tubes is just awesome to me. I love being able to push this instrument that way. Tell me what you think about that sound, about the Bugera, and uh, if you get one, please come back and leave a comment and tell me how you liked it and if it's doing what you want it to do as well. I'm super excited. Please subscribe as well. Got lots more of these guitar discoveries to share. Talk to you soon.